Hello, welcome back to the Left in the Past. Today I'm in Spring Place, Georgia at the Moravian Mission Cemetery, also known as God's Acre. And this is God's Acre. So right here, which is God's Acre, was it was originally an apple and a peach orchard that stood right here where the cemetery is now located. And right here through this tree line is a big field that the original school building for over 100 Cherokee students once stood. And I'll go ahead and go through these woods right here so I'm able to show you guys the field of where the school building and many other buildings such as a house for strangers stood at. So this is the field where the school building, like I said, for over the 100 Cherokee students once stood out. I believe it was way back there in the middle of the field where the school building actually stood out. And on this left side of the field, this is where a lot of houses were. And I'll actually pop a picture up of the original map up right now so you can check it out. And before I get into the story about how this cemetery and how everything came to be, I want to show you guys an, an, eight, an 1800s roadway that used to cut right through here past this orchard. So right over here you can still see the indentions of where the roadway used to be. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but if you can tell right here and right over here are indentions of the road. And that's pretty cool to me that you can still see a roadway that they used in the 1800s. And there's a sign that says the early 1800s lane. The roadway actually went through the woods way over there and it cut back to the left on the original Chatsworth Highway so this road right here that is being used today was originally not there it was just this road that cut through um, both fields that was the road that was here and now as you can tell we have a new road that's being used but now I'm going to get into the stories about how this cemetery came to be. The school day here at Spring Place began with students up, dressed, and kneeling in prayer. After breakfast, school was in session until lunchtime. Students spent the hours until late afternoon helping with various tasks and chores around the mission with some time left for play. There was another session of school before supper followed by songs and prayer in the evening. Chiefs James Van and Charles R. Hicks encouraged the Cherokee Council in 1800 to allow a group of Moravian missionaries to open up a school for Cherokee children. And Chief Fan purchased this site for that purpose. However, except for this cemetery and the limestone spring that supplied its name, there is very little to remind us that the Moravian mission once stood here. In 1801, Van's daughter, Sarah, became the first student in the mission, making Spring Place the first school in the Cherokee Nation. During its 32-year history, over 100 Cherokee students began their education here. Instructions taught here included religion, reading, writing, science, arithmetic, history, farming, and also housekeeping. Eventually, the mission complex grew to include a chapel, missionary residences, a dormitory, a house for strangers, farm buildings, several large fields, and an orchard. When a young student named Donnie fell ill and died attending Spring Place, the missionary started a God's Acre, which is a common term for Moravian cemeteries, at this spot, which was the orchard at the time. One of the first actions that Georgia took in the preparation of the removal of the Cherokees was to close all the mission stations. On Christmas Eve in 1832, the Georgia militia demanded that the Moravians close the mission. On January 7, 1833, the missionaries had to bid farewell to their beloved Spring Place. The Georgia militia turned the mission complex into their headquarters during the Cherokee removal. 
By the early 1900s, all the structures and the gravestones had either been removed or destroyed, and the majority of the site, including the God's Acre, was developed as farmland. Archaeologists using ground-penetrating radar rediscovered the grave sites in the year 2000, and this two-acre track was donated to the state of Georgia in 2002 by Moses and Merritt Bond, in honor of Ida Key Treadwell and Thelma Treadwell Bond. This is what the school site originally looked like. And here is the map to show everything. And here is the gravestone that was re-erected of the Chief Charles R. Hicks. And here is a stone in memory of those who rest here. And Anna Rosina Gamble was the teacher for the Cherokee students. Here is information over Miss Gamble, the teacher of the Cherokee students, who unfortunately passed away in 1821 due to heart failure. And here's some more information over Chief Hicks. And here's an original signature that he signed in 1803. Now I'm going to walk around this side and remember the lives of the Cherokees that were lost and buried here. people buried here. God's Acre Spring Place Mission Cemetery. And this is the Cherokee student Donnie. And the teacher Miss Gamble.
as well as Rose's infant. Chief Hicks. Miss Nicholson. Miss Peggy Van Crutchfield. Christian Jacob. Minerva. And Minerva Van. And Robert Howe. And I want to end on the final words of Chief Charles R. Hicks. Brother, I'm happy to see you once more. My time, it appears, is run out and I must go away. I'm not afraid of death. I trust alone in the redeeming merits of my Savior. I'm his, and he will accept me as a poor sinner. We must all die. We all have to go to the same road. We are earth, and we must return to earth. God has ordered it so. That's going to be all for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy that video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. And also subscribe if you haven't already, because that helps me out a whole lot. And comment down below, what was your favorite part of this video? Did you like the stories that I told about how this cemetery was originally a school? Did you like how there's the original 1800s road over there? Just tell me what you liked about this video. And also, I just dropped merch, so if you want to go check that out, definitely do, the, do so. It'll be on the left side of the screen, and I'll also be in, the, in a link in the description and it's also on my channel page and also check out my channel memberships if you haven't already if that's something that you're interested in you can get exclusive content from me that only channel members will get but with all that said thank you all so much for watching and as always have a great day